Hyundai Motors initial public offer will open for public subscription on October 15th tomorrow. The automaker has also fixed a price band of 1865 to 1960 rupees per share for its mega 27870 crore IPO. The Hyundai Motors India IPO will surpass LIC's initial share sale of rupees 21000 crores to become the biggest ever IPO in the Indian market. Here is all you need to know before investing in the Hyundai Motors IPO. The 27,870 crore IPO will be listed on both BSE and NSE with the price band set between 1865 and 1960 rupees per equity share. Hyundai Motors India was commanding a grey market premium of merely rupees 65 per share, suggesting a minuscule listing pop of just 3% to the investors above the higher end of the price band. Investors can bid for a minimum of 7 shares with the minimum retail investing being 13,720 and the maximum reaching 1,92,080 rupees. High net worth individuals can place bids for 105 shares or more with larger bids potentially exceeding 1 million rupees. Hyundai raised 8,315.28 crore rupees from anchor investors to an allotment of 42,424,890 shares. These shares are subjected to lock-in periods with 50% lock until November 17, 2024 and the remaining shares until January 16, 2025. The IPO allocation is divided into categories up to 50% reserved for qualified institutional buyers, at least 35% for retail individual investors and 15% for non-institutional investors. The basis of allotment will be finalized on October 18th with the funds and credit of shares to DMAT accounts scheduled for October 21st. The shares are expected to list on October 22nd. So, should you invest in the IPO? Well, we can't say that because Mint doesn't advise on buying or selling of shares. But Hyundai Motors India is a major player in the domestic passenger vehicle market, but operates in a highly competitive environment alongside Tata Motors, Maruti Suzuki and Mahindra and Mahindra. The competition has intensified with the entry of players like Kia Motors and MG. Investors should be mindful of potential conflicts of interests as Hyundai operates in the same segment as Kia Corporation and Kia India, both part of Hyundai Motor Company. Hyundai Motor India relies on its parent Hyundai for essential parts and research and development. Any strain in this relationship could negatively impact Hyundai's business in India. Additionally, Hyundai pays a 3.5% loyalty on revenues to Hyundai Motors Company. All these things need to be kept in mind before investing in the IPO. So, will you go ahead and invest in the IPO? Or you won't? Please let us know in the comment section and stay tuned to Live Mint for more such updates.